Operation Lucky begins with the wily pooch making sure the family's not at home. Once she's convinced she's not going to get caught, she kind of nonchalantly wanders down to the shoreline, gets her feet wet, tests the water a little bit, eases into the water step by step, and then she finally gets to the point of no return. She swims about 30, 40 feet down to the neighbor's yard, turns into their boat dock, swims to the end of it. Lucky then takes a giant leap. To get up on this like three or four foot ledge. Before digging under a fence and dashing through the neighbor's yard. And then she's free. But something suddenly stops Lucky dead in her tracks. We had gone out to run an errand, and we drove by Lucky. I didn't see her, but she saw our car. And you can see from her point of view, she sees the car. She knows that she's not supposed to be out. So Lucky waits till their car goes by. What amazed me was Lucky's resourcefulness. She just is a problem solver. Lucky follows the car from a safe distance until it disappears from view. I just laughed. It was just so funny to have that perspective, first of all, just to see through the eyes of a dog. Lucky now picks up the pace as she continues on her journey. The first thing she did is head to a construction site down the street. After rummaging through a trash can, Lucky strikes gold with a leftover donut. Then, finally, Lucky's in the home stretch, heading down the road for the main course. Some delicious barbecue cooked up every day by neighbor John King. I just thought she was another stray dog. But over the years, John and Lucky have become great friends. I think when Lucky smells the barbecue cooking, it's like letting her know, hey, John's on his back porch. I'm going to see him. I'm sorry that this keeps happening nah, over and no over. No problem. I'm used to it. Now, Lucky's family has at last solved the mystery of where she's been going all this time. We caught it all on camera, what she was doing, and we were shocked. We were just so surprised. And also relieved. So that's actually made us feel a lot better knowing that she's not in harm's way. In fact, Mike and Deborah were so impressed by Lucky's street smarts, they're no longer even concerned about trying to escape proof their property and deprive her of her fun barbecue parties with John. I view her as a, a survivalist. I have no doubt if you dropped her into the backwoods of Alaska, she'd be completely fine. 